Hey all you caterpillars and butterflies, this is Heather and I am having a great Thursday. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. I have been daydreaming about the holistic holiday at Sea Cruise that is going to be next February. Um, have you guys heard of this? This is the coolest thing. It's a it's a cruise, it's a seven day cruise that leaves from uh, Miami and goes to Mexico and the Bahamas and a couple other places I can't remember. But doesn't that just sound awesome right there? I've always wanted to go on a cruise. Ever since I saw the love boat, I totally blame the love boat. I wanted to be Julie, the cruise director and I wanted to tell people that we're now doing shuffleboard on the Lido deck. And when I was a big time compulsive eater and my very favorite thing to do was eat, 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 eat. Um, yeah, cruises sounded pretty good because you can eat your face off. <laughs> I thought, I'll just go and it'll be a binge fest. It'll be so awesome. But um, I never have gone on one. My kids went on one. Uh, my kids went on one to Mexico with their grandmother and I was a little bit jealous because again I probably have wanted to go on a cruise since I was eight years old. So I'm going next year. I am definitely going to this holistic holiday at sea and I will put the link in the down below um, because maybe you want to go. So first of all the whole cruise is vegan and it has a lot of raw food um, and it just is like all these worldwide awesome vegan chefs are who caters the thing okay and then the speakers are off the chain T. Colin Campbell the author of the China study uh, Dr. McDougall the starch solution um, Dr. Bernard, Dr. Estelin, just on and on and on. All of the plant-based um, physicians that I really admire. A lot of other kinds of holistic practitioners and speakers and chefs and it just is like, you know, where a vegan goes if they've been good before they go to heaven, <laughs> I guess. But anyway, so I'm super excited. And um, the reason it's on my mind today is I just wanted to check the deadline. There's an early bird, um, big discount if you book it pretty early. Do you know it's not even that expensive? It's a seven-day vacation, and it starts about $1,300. And then, of course, I live in Portland, Oregon, so I have to get to Miami somehow. So that's going to be expensive, but again, I can book that well ahead of time. And you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to go early and go to Orlando, and I'm going to go to Harry Potter World. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. I actually, maybe I don't know if I'll do that this trip because I really want to do that with my kids. Um, but yeah, that would be kind of fun if I met a. Uh, wonder is there anybody else that's going um maybe we could meet in orlando and then rent a car and go to miami and catch the boat um i just think that'd be super fun i always thought that if i'm ever in florida that would just be dumb to not go do the disney and harry potter and um, epcot and all that fun stuff anyway so i'm dreaming of my holiday at sea and i'll finally get to play shuffleboard on the Lido deck or somewhere but man they got spas they got all kinds of holistic practitioners and that is going to be my reward for a year of changing my life I think that'll be a great reward and like I said it's not even that expensive um, and you have until May 22nd to get the cheap rate if you do want to do it if you do want to do it, tell me, okay? So we can all meet up on the boat. Wouldn't that be the coolest? Everybody, come meet me on the boat. We're going to go on the holistic holiday at sea. Um, 
My chef crush, Chef AJ, goes there. That's right. And so anyway, that's what I'm dreaming about today. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I was noticing my clothes. My clothes are getting way too big. I don't know what I'm gonna do, guys. I have to wear, I have to wear kind of dressy clothes. I'm, I wear suits to work, and um, yeah, this one isn't gonna last much longer. It's starting to get, starting to flash people. <laughs> because, you know, why is it the bust goes first? Ladies, can I get an AMN? The bust goes first when you're losing weight. Well, whatever. It, I, I would rather be smaller. Uh, overall, I, I'd rather you know lose the hips and belly and booty and keep the top, but it isn't, it isn't to be, and that's okay. What God hath forgotten, stuff with cotton. <laughs> that's a little secret I share with Victoria, right? So, yeah. Um, I'm just in a silly mood today because my mind is in the Caribbean Ocean. Um, and so anyway, I hope that you're having a good Thursday and, um, check out the Holistic Holiday at Sea. And if you're going, tell me, okay? And tell me if you like Harry Potter and if you like, um, or if you think that I should go to Disney, <laughs> go a little bit early. I figure if it's seven days, if I went just a little bit early, like, because I probably could have nine days off, you know, with the two weekends. I'm thinking of a thing here. <laughs> Maybe I could do that. Um, it just seems a shame when you're already in Florida, right? All right. Hope you, I hope you have a great day. And, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. This is really quick. I made the most yummy, yummy raw food thing. It was so good, and all it was was, uh, it was just, um, it's driving me crazy now, cauliflower. I'm so excited, I cannot even talk to you about it. I am so excited about cauliflower, okay? All I did was I processed cauliflower down into a mush, and it comes out like mashed potatoes. It's just raw cauliflower and it comes out like mashed potatoes and then I put a boatload of garlic in it and then I put a couple of tablespoons now this was you know it is a fat but I only put a couple of tablespoons for a whole huge thing of cauliflower so I put a couple of tablespoons of raw cashew butter just because I had it around and processed that all together oh my gosh you guys creamy, yummy, delicious. I also put Celtic salt. So technically four uh, ingredients. You just take cauliflower, break it up into little florets, put it in your Vitamix or your Blendtec or your food processor. I started out with a food processor and it was taking forever. So I switched it to the Blendtec. And then I put in like three or four cloves of garlic because you know if some is good more is better <laughs> and a couple tablespoons of the cashew butter and a little bit of Celtic salt it was so yummy I fully intended to show you guys <laughs> the recipe and guess what it didn't even make it. it I ate it for breakfast so I definitely recommend you try that it's it couldn't be easier if you try it let me know okay all right so I'm going to go back to dreaming of being at sea and uh, dreaming of getting home and eating more cauliflower. <laughs> Who would think raw cauliflower would be that yummy? It's super yummy, guys. Super yummy. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.